Hey guys, Jennifer here with The Family Fudge and welcome to Bunches of Lunches Stormy Spring Break Edition. And you guys, I do mean Stormy. The family and I just got back from several days at the Disney World campground. And in last week's video, I shared with you guys how I thought I had everything planned out. Things like the food, the clothes, the itinerary, and the organization for a trip. But what I didn't plan very well for was the extreme weather that we experienced. I definitely was not prepared for that. And while it did make us change our plans a bit, it was still fun, and in today's video, I'm going to share with you all of our lunches from the trip and a little bit about what we did each day. Now, before we get started, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you love traveling and fun food. Hey guys, and happy Monday. We just made it to Fort Wilderness Campground. Here is what the site looks like before we set up everything. We're gonna go ahead and set up some things then have lunch, and then we'll give you the grand tour. <laughs> things up? Yeah! And then have lunch? Yeah! Let's go! It is a pretty hot day. It's starting to get humid here. And unfortunately, the closest bathroom to us is closed. Check out my new shoes. You got new shoes? Ooh. Are they comfortable? Is it hot today? Yeah, super hot. Okay, let's get all the decorations, the tables, and everything. Should we take him on a tour? Yeah! Okay, so here's what it looks like during the day. At nighttime, it's gonna be a little bit different, but should we start over here? Yeah! Okay, so it's kind of a campground tradition to decorate your spot with a lot of colorful lights and blow ups and things. So we have lots of St. Patrick's Day ones. We have Minnie and Mickey, unicorn, an owl, and of course the leprechaun over here. Guys, which one of these blow-ups is your favorite? This one. So I knew you would like the unicorn the best. Also, me. also you? Look, the unicorn has gold. And then we have a golf cart. We were so lucky to get a six-seater. They don't have that many of them, but because there are so many golf carts, people love to decorate those too, just so you can tell which one is yours. This is a really fun tradition that I totally look forward to doing every season. So for St. Patrick's Day, we have the rainbow on top. Lots of these decorations came from either the Dollar Tree or Hobby Lobby. Are you gonna drive? Yeah! <laughs> I, would love, I would love to let you drive, but there's a rule here. You have to be 16. Here's the view from the back. Should we go show them our bike parking lot? Yeah. We love bringing our bikes and our scooters and all of our outdoor gear. And we park it back here so it doesn't look quite as messy. So we have like a little parking lot. Whose scooter is the red one? Jack. Whose is the purple one? Mine. Whose is the blue one? Mine. <laughs> then we have these little guys. These are really fun. You like sit there and you move your feet back and forth. Then over here we have a daddy bike. And of course the teal one is the mommy bike. So over here we have our little work table. This is where we have our ice machine. This is a must have for camping because I love cold drinks and it's hot outside. And then over here we have our little camping stove. So if I wanna do any cooking, I can do it out here. Much easier than doing it inside. It's pretty small in there. So of course we have our St. Patrick's Day tablecloth. I love this. On our awning over here, I added this little tinsel garland from Hobby Lobby. And not only is it cute, but it also helps remind me not to hit my head because this does come down kind of low. 
and unfortunately I have hit my head on here before. It's not fun. And then each site comes with its own little picnic table as well. It's lunchtime! Are you helping? Yeah. You got the fruit salad? Yummy. Okay, here is our lunch setup for today. And if you hear some turkey noises, because there's some wild turkeys over there. So hopefully they'll leave us alone while we're having our lunch. So we have our sandwiches, either chicken salad or we have pepperoni and cheese. We have a big Caesar salad from Costco. We have the fruit salad that I made in the packing video where I did some meal prep as well. So you can check that video out. I'll link it down below. We also have some chips and some mango peach salsa and the kids have some Capri Suns. So super simple today because it's been kind of busy getting everything set up and ready to go. Now, if I can remember, I'll try to get a clip of how this looks at night because we do have lights all the way around the entire site and around the awning as well. But right now, <laughs> see you tomorrow! has their Star Wars shirts. The kids are having a little Uncrustable snack. No. Last night it was pouring down rain pretty much all night, but the kids had a lot of fun. Today we're headed to Hollywood Studios. It's a warm one and it's gonna be busy. You guys ready? Let's go. Now we could hop on a bus to get to Hollywood Studios. They do have lots of buses that you can take for free and they'll take you to whatever park you wanna to go to, but you find it's a lot faster to just take the car. So we're gonna hop in the car, take it over there and find some lunch. And we made it. Right now it's looking like sunny skies, but it's supposed to start raining around three or four today. So hopefully we can do lots of stuff before we get rained out. So as of right now, most of the rides are at least an hour or more. So we're gonna skip a lot of those today. Thankfully we've been on all the rides before, so it's all about just coming here, having fun trying some food, going shopping, just having a relaxed time. Okay guys, so we found a nice table in the shade, but we do have to stand and it's right next to the Indiana Jones show, which is happening right now. So it might get a little bit loud, but one of the things we like to do is bring some food and buy some food. That way we get to try some new things, but we also save a lot of money by bringing things I know the kids like. We ended up bringing some of these pepperoni uncrustables. So it's kind of like a soft bread with cheese and sauce and pepperoni rolled up. Definitely like something I would make at home, but quick and easy to throw in a bag. We also brought some semi-frozen Capri Suns. Those are nice and slushy. Definitely a cool treat for a hot day. And then we also brought a couple of these foodles for the kids to share. Now I get these at Target, but you can also find them at Walmart. In here they have apple slices, some Mickey Mouse goldfish crackers, and some cheese cubes. And then to go with it from the restaurant, we got some special drinks. We got a BB-8 that has Powerade in it, and a Darth Vader cup with Powerade in it. And then we got some cookies that we've never tried before. This is called a Wookiee cookie. It has two oatmeal cookies with a creamy center and a little chocolate on top that looks like Chewbacca's belt. 
Whoa, it's giant. This reminds me of the big oatmeal cookie from Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. It totally does. Tons of white filling. These little chocolate things are kind of falling off and getting all melted, but it is a hot day. So that is everything for today's lunch. And welcome to a super wet Wednesday. Right now we're supposed to be headed to the Animal Kingdom, but it looks like this. You guys say hi! Hi! <laughs> What's happening right now? Rain! Yeah, a big, big storm. So maybe we'll have lunch in the car? What do you think? Yeah! You think it's gonna stop raining soon? Yeah, or are we maybe. gonna get drenched today? Drenched. <laughs> now usually I like to go to the park when it's rainy because then the lines are less but this is a little extreme. There's actually thunder and lightning as well. It's looking pretty intense until what time? Maybe a late lunch today? So here's how it's looking right now at Animal Kingdom. The lines are pretty long and lots of things are closed. But I do see the sun's starting to come out, so maybe it'll be fine. We made it! And it stopped raining for a little bit. So while the kids are here, the little ones are going to do the Wilderness Explorers Handbook. So all around the park there's different stations where the kids can learn about animals. We've never done this before. It looks really fun and educational. So it's kind of almost like a scoop. So what they do is they stop their feet around in the water and then they'll scoop their beaks through that water to get that trim. Now if you look really closely, you can see that the beak doesn't quite close all the way. Okay, we are just about ready for our lunch. And just like always, we brought some food and we're gonna buy some food. And I think some of the most interesting food is definitely in the Pandora area. Okay, so we got some cheeseburger pods. These are like a soft bao bun with cheeseburger filling. So it has ground beef and cheese and pickles. To go along with that, we have some veggie chips. I see some sweet potato ones in there. For the kids who don't want those, we got some Uncrustables. We also brought some carrots and ranch, some fruit pouches, we got some Capri Suns. This is a drink that I really wanted to try. This is fruit juice mixed with Powerade, so it should be fruity and refreshing. These are pineapple and cream cheese lumpia. Three of these drinks with the boba on top. It's like a fruity slushy. It is so good and refreshing, especially on a super hot and humid day. Every 
everything in lunch was really, really good, but we all got brain freeze yeah. from those drinks, huh? Yeah. But it looks like it's gonna start raining any minute, so maybe we'll do the bug show, maybe we'll finish our wilderness adventure book, but otherwise, we will see you tomorrow! Trading? Yeah. Where's your new one? Right here. Oh, oh, it's a small world girl. Yeah. From Japan. I love it. You like pin trading? Yeah. Me too. Let's go. Well, we didn't quite make it back to the car in time, and now we're all soaked. But it was still really fun. Happy Tuesday. Okay guys, we've had quite the busy morning and that's because when you stay at the Disney campground, you have to be completely packed up and out of your campsite by 11 a.m. Now we have stayed at this campground several times before and recently we started a new tradition where on checkout day, once we have everything packed up and we've moved the RV to the front parking lot, we then head to Magic Kingdom for a special brunch. So now we are hopping on the bus and we're gonna make our way over to the Sleepy Hollow restaurant. The Sleepy Hollow restaurant is kind of on the side of the castle and this is where you have to go if you want a Mickey waffle. But you have to get there before 11 because that's when they stop making them. For each of the kids, they did get their very own Mickey waffle. These ones are giant and they also have strawberries and powdered sugar and whipped cream. But for some reason, it seems like they added extra powdered sugar today. And then my husband and I, we really like to split the fresh fruit and Nutella waffle. That's definitely my favorite. And you guys, this is something that's really easy. You could make this yourself at home anytime you want. Now, I do have to warn you, if you get the waffles with powdered sugar, definitely pick up some extra napkins because that powdered sugar tends to get everywhere. After breakfast, we do have plans to see the parade that just came back to Magic Kingdom. They stopped this parade back in 2020 and now it's finally back and I can't wait to see it. If you do wanna see this parade, I recommend you get a spot early. We got to this spot 30 minutes early and we just barely got it. Almost all the spots were already taken. This parade includes some of our favorite characters and I love the giant float and the dragon. The dragon actually blows fire. It is so cool. Hey guys, and welcome to another stormy day. It is Friday. We are back home now. Now, if you're new here, we do live only about 20 minutes from Disney World. So even though we didn't get a chance to go to Epcot while we were there, we're still planning to go today after lunch. And you guys, lunch is going to be super simple today because I do have a lot of unpacking to do. And I'm going to try to use as many of our leftover food as I can. First, Lily and I are going to work together to make some pizza sliders. Once we have all of these sauce spread out, it's time for some cheese. As you can see, I have quite a lot of cheese left over from our trip. After that, we're adding plenty of pepperoni, followed by one more layer of cheese. Now, Lily's going to add that top back on. And of course, these sandwiches are going to be cut apart after I bake them for a bit. But before we bake them, Lily's gonna add a little bit of Italian seasoning to some melted butter. And then we're just going to brush this all over the tops of our rolls. Now these go in the oven at 350 for about 10 minutes or so, or until that cheese is nice and melted. To go along with this, I'm also going to serve the rest of the salad from our trip. I'm also adding some oranges and some yogurt. And you guys, you'll notice that I'm not adding any extra snacks or drinks or treats, and that's because we're hoping to get some at Epcot later today. 
right now at Epcot, the Flower and Garden Festival is going on, which is one of my favorite festivals. I love the flowers. And of course, we love getting to try all the fun and festive food. Our first stop was at the Honey Bistro. And you guys, at this booth, everything on the menu includes honey. We ended up getting the honey cheesecake to share. This dessert includes orange blossom honey, whipped honey, dehydrated honey, honeycomb, and an edible flower. Now overall, we gave this one an eight out of 10. It was really good, but I was the only one willing to eat the flower. Next, we headed to the Sunshine Griddle and we got a couple of things to share. First up was the Fruit Loops Shake. And this is something that we tried last year as well and it was really good then, it's still really good now. Definitely a 10 out of 10 for us. If you're a fan of Fruit Loops, you would like this one. And then finally, we also got the Cinnamon Roll Bites to share. These also have maple bacon pieces on top. Definitely a 10 out of 10 for us perfect for sharing, and to me, I think these taste like a really good and fresh churro. Okay guys, there you have it. Thank you so much for coming along with us on this stormy spring break. If you're looking for more fun travel lunches, definitely check out these videos over here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.